टुडे आई विल बी सेटिंग अप माई टॉल एलिफेंट टाइम ब्लॉक प्लानर ये वी हैव मिनिमल स्प्रेड फ्रॉम दिस मिनिमल क्लियरली स्प्रेड इन दिस एंड आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग सम ऑफ द थिंग्स वाई यू नीड टाइम ब्लॉकिंग वेदर यू शुड गो फॉर टाइम ब्लॉक एंड यू कैन कंसिडर ट्रेडिशनल टू डू टास्क लिस्ट प्लानिंग सो हेलो वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल आई एम प्रिंड एंड आई एम इन टू प्लानिंग एंड ऑर्गनाइजेशन सिंस अ लॉन्ग टाइम सो इफ दिस इज समथिंग इंटरेस्ट यू डोंट फॉर्गेट टू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल लाइक दिस वीडियो एंड कमेंट बिलो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो लाइक मी जस्ट एप्रिशिएट दिस ब्लैक कवर ब्लैक ऑन ब्लैक एंड इट लुक्स टू प्रोफेश दिस प्लानर इज जेंडर न्यूट्रल सो एनी वन कैरी इन ऑफिस विद दम रेस्पेक्टिव वेदर यू आर मेल और फीमेल सो आई जस्ट लाइक द कवर एंड द डिजाइन ऑफ दिस प्लानर इवन द spread which is there i kind of like those thing uh, we will discuss few of the thing which i don't like or maybe you can check a uh my review video on this tall elephant planner i have done a detailed review on now let's continue uh, seeing the planner so the first page is word of the year uh, i have done a complete setup on this uh, why we need word of the year why it's important for you to set for your intention throughout the year so my word of the year is consistency i have kept this a uh, gentle reminder in all of my three planners now the next page is name and few of the personal details so here are few of my personal details which i can share on camera uh, rest of the detail i will be filling off camera as i'm already using this planner uh, since one or two week and i'm late in shooting this video as i was um, out for a holiday with my family so i could not uh, shoot this video on time but yes i have already started using this planner since uh, 1st january not from the 1st january but from the next week of january 3rd or 4th january so you can see uh, this page as a 6 month glance page and we have few thing already fill up so i have already marked few of the important dates or meetings which i can't reschedule uh, few of the birthdays also i have marked for the first month which is not necessary because i'm marking my birthday in other planner so it's not necessary here it but just for the experiment basis i have marked them uh, you can see few of the meetings already marked and few of the plan for the upcoming month like the holidays i have marked and few of the festival i have already written with a pencil so that if nothing important come on that particular day i did with the i just don't want to go for any meetings any training during the festive time so that's why it's necessary for me to mark those thing in the planner so that if someone ask me or plan some i can quickly look on to this sheet and identify whether i am available on that particular date or not and same for the next half year uh, i have marked all the festival with the pencils only because during the uh, festival time i am quite busy like in the navratri week i will be busy in the morning and evening so i know that i can't take any priority task on those days because of only those reason i have written all the important festival in my planner you can also use this spread to mark any important dates or any important plan maybe any upcoming trip like if you remember i have marked a trip in april month uh, from 7 to 10 because it's a tentative plan not fixed anything yet so that's why i have kept it uh, with a pencil only but yes i know that at that moment of time i'm planning some trip so i won't be scheduling any important any friend meets or any important task during those days uh, i might be keeping that pending till march mid of march and by mid of the march we will be having some clarity whether we are planning those trip or not so you can also use this uh, spread this yearly spread for the reference and for any upcoming future log planning maybe any trip uh, if you are a student you can mark all the exam dates so that uh, it will be helpful for you to just take a glance that uh, whether you are available in that particular month or not so now this is a 2024 calendar which we can use only for the reference for the future reference and generally i use this section after the second half of the year like after june july or august we might need to refer few of the date of the future like uh, if you have any friends wedding coming in the next year so generally you can schedule those and mark those date in a highlight that okay this is uh, these days i am busy and whenever you are doing a setup for the next year you can just refer this section for any of the upcoming dates so only for that purpose i use this 2024 calendar now next is bucket list so i have already created my personal bucket list in the tall elephant journal so you can see that video on my channel uh, i have done a setup of tall elephant a journal you can refer that video so here i will i'm just doing a setup like all the bucket list related will be something related to my youtube channel instagram page and my work life so i have just created few of the milestone which i want to achieve in this year so here in youtube you can see few of the section like i want to upload uh, 60 videos till 2023 and and few of the milestone in respect to the subscriber number 
so i i'm not someone who just monitor the numbers what i'm achieving and what's going on but still it gives you a good feeling so if you have not subscribed yet to my channel then consider subscribing and hit that subscribe button i'm looking forward to these few of the milestone in this year 200 subscriber 500 subscriber and the 1000 subscribers I have some plans to do the vlogmas this year for the 2023 and let's see what happened at that time so there are a few of the plans related to my youtube channel instagram i want to upload few of the productivity related videos and a uh, few of the few of the subscriber count also i'm looking forward to there work i want to do complete few of the certification this year which is related to my professional life my career so these are the bucket list which i want to complete a few of these are also inspired from my goals also which i want to complete in this year so yes this is about the bucket list you have seen my personal bucket list in tall elephant planner setup my work related bucket list here and there and travel related bucket list i will be uploading soon on my channel as a short video maybe so this is the inspiration sheet which is blank and it will uh be an ongoing sheet for the year so i might be writing any inspiration i got from for a video like uh, or maybe i want to do some training because of some technology changes or news so i will be mentioning that here uh, any ideas any inspiration related to my work and career goal i will be noting here and maybe by end of the year i can share what ideas and what inspiration i got so next is the goal setting page so you have seen already that i have set uh, 11 10 goals and already i have done a quarterly goal also on my channel so there are few many types of goals which i have already done but this is related particularly to my career so i will be splitting down those career related goals which i have already set up in level 10 so uh, my career is mainly related to instagram youtube and the work so what we have seen in the bucket list is kind of related to my goals also if in youtube like I'm segregating every career goal into section um, the goals and my plan what I want to do for that. So if you see in YouTube, I want to complete uh, achieve thousand sus subscriber. But for that, what I have to do, I will be uploading one YouTube video every week and two shorts every week. To upload those things, I have to make a uh, plan like one shoot day and one edit day specifically for those videos so that everything is as per plan and as scheduled. For the Instagram and the work also, Instagram, I want to share a few of the productivity related tips which I have uh, used in my life in last three years because I am doing these activities since two or three years and... Uh, learned a lot of things from the books from podcasts from so many mediums so love to share those information on my instagram page also if you want to follow me there you can find the link in my description work related uh, my main focus for the year is completing few of the training and few of the certification course now let's come to the yearly tracker page so uh, for the yearly tracker page uh, in this page what you have to do you just need to mention those things which you do monthly like um, paying bills is something related to monthly uh, if I want to see how many training hours I'm completing because training is one of the my goals so I have to keep monitoring on those uh, training hours also so that I have mentioned here uh, how many videos and reels uh, or the posts I'm posting on Instagram YouTube across all the mediums so that I will be doing here uh, yes I am tracking followers and subscribers here in this just, just to see how my uh, my videos are doing and just to feel good like how many progress i'm getting but uh, yes uh, don't follow the numbers just go for the work what you want to do i'm working towards my goal instead of focusing on the numbers only number is just something which i might get because of my work so these are the few things which i am tracking on monthly basis and now next is the yearly tracker day wise so here are three things which i'm tracking day wise uh, one is what i'm doing for the youtube work like every day uh, i want to spend one or two hours for dedicated to my youtube related contents and one and two are same the same for the instagram related work this is something which i'm tracking here and again for the training i will be doing a track here so that i can see whether i am doing some training or not at least in a week i want to spend few of the hours toward my training also so this training is going to be related only to my work life and one more section remaining for me to do tracking i don't know what to track in this so if you have any suggestion what i can do uh, what I can include here just let me know because I don't like uh, leaving blank space in my planner or journal uh, which is not a good habit actually you should uh, be comfortable in seeing the blank space in your journal and planner but yes uh, this is not something uh, what I like doing so maybe if you have any suggestion just comment it below and I will try to try those habit in that section related to my youtube and instagram work i have given few of the keys so that i can easily track how many live videos went in the month and how many days i spent for shooting and editing 
so these are the key which i have uh, written in the sticky note and pasted it here for my reference so that once i'm comfortable i can just remove this now let's come to the january page and first is our notes page which is blank and uh, you can use it for any plan or any motivational quotes or any plan for the month any uh, goal which you want to break or narrow down what you want to complete in this complete month so those kind of plan you can do here i might be using this as a brain dump sheet for my year to planning for the month or for the next month this is our monthly dashboard as i have already said that i started using this uh, planner in the second week of january so yes i have mentioned few of the things like you have few spaces to mention the important task of the day or any priority task for the day any uh, appointment and meeting so you can see few of the meeting schedule in this month which i know uh, is going to happen at that moment of time only and i can't reschedule so i have already noted that thing here and whenever i come across any of the tasks for my next week or upcoming days i just keep updating it here so that i at a glance i can see how many tasks or how many things i'm taking in my hand for that particular day so none of my days are going as a over can easily track and manage these things here are few uh, one small section as a to do so i have mentioned few of the to do tasks which i wanted to complete it in this month and you can see my weekly page uh, as i mentioned priority task for the day on top and few of the daily tasks in the bottom so from the daily task list i can just schedule every task or as per time so right now you can see uh, i have marked few of the task with the green and the red mark which red means that i have not completed the task on time or plan but green means that thing went very well uh, as per plan so this time blocking and daily planning i am starting right now like uh, earlier i used to do a to do list or task list planning method but uh, time blocking i am starting from this year only so what will what is the major difference between these two if you have multiple things to do in a day and if you can follow some schedule like uh, you are someone who could not find time to do the things so you can just monitor with where your time are going so right now what i am doing as this is my first time of using time blocking method i'm just writing down what i am doing at that particular time so that i can just see where my times are going and for few of the days i just try to do planning and the next day somehow few of the things i could not complete because of the energy level difference because uh, maybe in morning i have thought that in afternoon i will be doing this particular task but by the afternoon i don't have energy to do that task so i just reschedule the thing or change the type of the task instead of doing something like on saturday afternoon i just want to do a shoot for my youtube video a long format shoot but on saturday i am feeling of doing a long video shoot so instead of doing that kind of task what i do i just shoot few of the short videos and the reels so that is something i can do uh, same for uh, sunday if i have planned editing videos between 12 to 3 pm but at that moment of time i don't have energy and in the evening if i can edit my videos around 8 to 10 pm then it's perfectly fine for me so these are the things which i am struggling like for me because of the energy level this thing is not going as per plan so what you can do uh, same like if you are someone who knows your energy level or how you your body works so you can plan the task accordingly but if you are not sure about the time blocking and whether you can dedicate a time for that particular task or not so you can go for the to do list planning where you just mention task for the day and just cross it off whether you completed the task in the morning or the evening irrespective of the time but i want to implement uh, this time blocking because i am a working professional and i am doing my side hustle also so i have to figure out everything and i have to manage my time accordingly so that i am not doing uh, a lot of procrastination and i have enough space to complete all the task on time i don't think this is something difficult to implement maybe in one month i can be the familiar with the thing on which day how my energy level is and at what time i can block for some important task so that's how i can do the time blocking in the upcoming month i will keep updating you how how my time blocking habits are updating so basic rule of time blocking is you just assign a particular hours for the priority task of the day uh, which is the concept from a book eat that frog so you just have to complete that one task for that particular day whether you are completing your uh, complete to do list or not rest other tasks you can do a time blocking keeping that in mind that you are giving some buffer time to yourself you are also supposed to assign some of the distraction time also because 
our mind work like this only that uh, we need to do some distraction also so if you can see in the calendar that okay the, this is the 30 minute or 45 minute i can distract myself toward any of the thing so uh, rest of the time you can be productive and you can implement your time blocking so next is our monthly tracker and in this what you can track uh, the few things which you want to work for this particular month instead of doing for a yearly basis or the weekly basis let's say if training is my, something which i'm tracking as a yearly thing also but training on a particular subject or on a particular topic i might be tracking on monthly basis so that thing i will be mentioning here related to my content planning i am doing a tracking on daily basis also whether i'm working on that youtube or instagram for particular project maybe in december when i'm doing a vlogmas i might be tracking vlogmas only in that particular month or maybe in september or i'm doing planner related content videos so that i might be tracking in that particular month only so these are the few thing which you are supposed to track on monthly basis also so these are the few thing which i which i have done for my planner uh, setter and uh, in future i will be coming up with more time blocking tips and trick because uh, this is something i am also exploring and i am also trying to implement so if any tips working for me that might can also work for you so i will be sharing my experience let me just use this planner for two or three months and get a hands on this and try to understand how to properly use this just love the planner and the layout and the everything everything is perfectly fine apart from one thing uh, which is a weekend task and the weekend priority because i mostly work on the weekend and we don't have any time block and even we can start club together so that one thing which is not working for me but anyhow for the weekend i just maintain a to do list instead of doing a time blocking and very thoughtful for to maintain your productivity and to be productive throughout the day or throughout the month so i just love the planner and uh, i will try to figure out more uh, ways to use this planner more effectively and more productively and will share with you guys also in a form of shorts in the upcoming videos or maybe in the any my planner setup videos when i found that okay this is something is working for me i i will quickly share it with you instead of creating a new video now i will be wrapping up this video thank you for watching this video and soon i will be coming up with more organizing and planning related tips and tricks uh, in the form of short and the videos so stay tuned for those video consider subscribing like this video and so comment below how you like this planner whether you use time blocking and main or maintain a to do list thank you and bye bye